Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mike Hermes from MH Tutorials and today I want to address a question that I got from one of my subscribers. How to model barbed wire in Maya. So let's get started. We're going to start off in our polygons menu and we're going to select a cylinder and we're going to drag that out and drag that up on the grid. Now um, I'm going to go to my side view, right click go to face and drag select this object not all the way down if I do that I'm going to lose the whole thing so to about here release and I'm going to hit delete and as you can see up here that will leave me my uh, the face that I need okay so I'm going to go back to my perspective view right click in the object go to object mode select it hit E to rotate it and I want to rotate that 90 degrees. Let's check that. Minus 90, like that. Okay. Next, I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to hit Control D, Y selected. Hit W to move it over. And put these two next to each other. Something like that. Let's see if we're close enough. Yeah, that's fine. Now I'm going to select both, so select and shift select, go to edit mesh, uh, actually mesh, sorry, and hit combine. So now it's one mesh. Okay. Now we're going to go into the uh, side view again. And I'm going to start to create a CV curve tool. So go to create, CV curve tool. And start somewhere around here and try to make a fairly straight line. And it doesn't have to be exactly straight because we're making barbed wire. And as you know, that is not exactly straight. Okay, for the purpose of this tutorial, that's long enough. Maybe one more. Like that. Hit enter. And now we're going to go back to our perspective view. Like that. Okay, now we need to take these two guys here and we need to scale them down quite a lot. So hit R to scale it down and make that nice and small. And now the tricky part. We need to align the CV curve with these two faces here. So I'm going to hit W. I'm going to move that down. And move that back a bit. And let's see where we're at. Now this is very important because you see this horizontal line between these two faces. You want to have your CV curve to align exactly positioned in the middle here. It will still work out, but your end result will look a little bit funky. I need to get my uh, center uh, line a bit in position, so don't mind this. Okay. on there we go sorry about that okay so let's see how we're doing and where we're at yeah we still have to move. I'm gonna move this it's a bit easier yeah it looks okay to me okay so we've got that done. Okay, next. So we select these two, which should be one by now, okay? And because they're combined, shift select the CV curve line, and we're gonna go to Edit Mesh, and we're gonna hit Extrude. And that's gonna go straight out, as you can see here. Now, I'm just gonna hit five for shaded mode, so you can see it a bit better. Now, in order to bend or twist an object, it has to have enough divisions. So in divisions here, we're going to bump that up a lot. Let's say, I don't know, 500. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay, 500. Now, what we're doing right now is the base wire of the barbed wire. That's a twisted wire. Uh, we're creating that. So we need to be able to twist this. So we're going to select the object. Go to object mode, select it. 
and we're going to uh, poly extrude phase one and here's a twist value and we're gonna crank that up a bit uh, actually a lot I'm gonna start off by taking 2000 uh, that looks oh, not too bad make a little bit more actually make it 3000 okay that's a bit better and I'm gonna drag select the whole thing I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to stretch that out a bit. Something like that. Okay. You see that very small thingy here? Remember I told you that you have to have your line exactly centered? You can get a little bit distorted endings there. But what you can do when you're modeling this is just cut off the section that you don't like and then duplicate the rest. Okay. So now we've got that part. Let's get into the barbed. Barb part. I think it's called Barb. In your polygons menu, go to Create Polygon Primitive and go to Helix. And we're going to drag one out on the grid and we're going to pull that up. And we're going to modify that a bit. So go to your attribute editor. Hang on, I'm just going to Control A. There you go. Go to your Poly Helix. I'm going to crank up the number of coils, something like that, I don't know, six or so. And I want to uh, adjust the radius just a little bit. Um, let's go with 0 0.2, uh, that's not too bad, 0 0.3, that's maybe too much. Okay, 0 0.250, fine. Okay, we're going to hit E. No, not in there. Click on your screen, hit E, rotate it 90 degrees. So ah, it's pretty close, 90. And we're going to move that guy in place. So hit W, move that roughly in position. And now we're going to select another view so we can see that better. And we're going to start to get that guy nice and centered. A bit up. We're going to scale that down a bit. And you should be able to go a little bit into your wire, actually. And let's see if we've got any gaps left here. Now, as you can tell, it still looks a bit big. So I'm going to scale it down a little bit more like that. And maybe stretch it in like that. Let's see if I'm still okay. Yeah, looks fine. Okay, next step. You see these endings here, like that one. I'm going to right click on it, go to face mode, select that, go to edit mesh, extrude, hit W, pull that up, something like that. And actually, I'm going to pull that in just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to, uh, while the face is selected, I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Extrude again. Hit W again. Stretch it out a little bit more. And again, make sure that's aligned. And I'm going to hit R, and I'm going to scale that down into a point. And maybe hit W and stretch that point out a little bit, something like that. Okay. Now we're going to do the other one. Select the face, Edit Mesh, Extrude, hit W, move that one down. I did something wrong, sorry. I need to make sure I got the face selected. Got that. Edit Mesh, Extrude, W. That's better, okay. And now they need to be the same length, sort of, okay? So that's fine. And then while it's selected, Edit Mesh Extrude again. W, pull it down some more, and hit R to scale that into a point like that. Okay, that's okay. So we got one of those. Now we're going to duplicate that a couple of times. So I'm going to right-click on that. Go to object mode, select it, hit 
uh, Control D, W to move it over, somewhere like that maybe. And I'm going to hit E to rotate it a bit because they don't all point in the same direction. I'm going to hit Control D again, W to move that over, roughly same distance, and hit E to rotate that some more. And we'll do one more. Control D, hit W, move that over here, hit E, rotate that a bit. Okay, not too bad. Now, we're going to drag select the whole thing, hit W, and we're going to pull that up. Oops, sorry about that. Drag select the whole thing, hit Control D, move that up and drag select the one below and delete that one. Reason is there's still history in there and uh, you know if you drag it up you distort that. I should have deleted history sooner. Okay so we're gonna create a ground plane something like so. We're going to pull that down a little bit, pull it in. I'm gonna quickly create some lighting create lights, point light, pull it up, pull it over here, just whatever your, your preference is. I'm going to duplicate that light, so control D, move that over a bit, and I'm going to shift select both lights, and in my point light shape tab, I'm going to make sure that under shadows, I got used at map shadows selected, like that. Okay, and that looks pretty good. I'm going to quickly assign some materials. So I'm going to hit my ground plane, right click, assign new material. I'm going to go with a Fong E, and I'm going to make that white. I'm going to select my barbed wire without selecting my ground floor. Right click, assign new material. I'll go with a Lambert. And in my color tab, I'm going to replace that with a file. And I'm going to get that off my desktop. And I downloaded something called Steel. It looks something like this. And we're going to open that. Okay, and now we're going to do a quick render. Just so you get a sense of what that could look like. And like I said, you know, it's... Uh, Okay, I'm going to quickly set up my render settings. Uh, I got a preference for Mental Ray, but we don't have any Mental Ray materials used, so you can do this in Maya software as well. Uh, just select a, a quality that you like and the size that you want. I'm not going to make it too big, otherwise the render will take forever. And let's do a quick render and see what happens. Hopefully this won't take too long. Well, it's coming up nicely. You can see the shadow on the left and the reflection on the right on the ground plane. So this is a, a quick and easy way to create barbed wire. Um, uh, hopefully it's helpful. If you've got any uh, questions or comments, uh, you can uh, you know put them uh, on the video. And uh, likes and subscriptions are really appreciated. Thank you for watching.